Welcome back to another quick video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use this kit to make mojito spheres. Now in this kit it shows you how to make three different techniques to make the ultimate mojito by combining a mojito foam with mojito row droplets and mojito spheres. Now the spheres is the part that I'm going to show you guys today and basically I'm just going to run through the recipe and make it but with a little bit of a twist I like to make it just a little bit more special so I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get cooking. Let's go. Alright, so to start off, you take one teaspoon of sugar, just place it in the bottom of your glass, and then you take some mint, this is hierba buena, and you just slap it. Now, hierba buena is spearmint, and you just want to slap it to release the essential oils and the aromas of the mint. Now, we're just going to roll a lime. So, here I'm rolling the lime so I can also release the essential oils of the skin of the lime and the juices on the inside of the lime. Alright, once you're done rolling, just cut the sides off the lime, just like this, and then you just want to cut the lime in half because we're going to eat half of it. And you want to cut this into quarters or wedges. We're going to have four wedges. Now the recipe on the kit says to use three, but these are pretty small, so I'm going to use four. All right, just chuck them in there. And the order is very important here, sugar, mint, and lime. So you don't destroy the mint leaves. You want to crush it quickly, just seven to eight times, not more. You don't want to go crazy on it. Now you take your sachet of calcium lactate which comes with the kit, and you only need about a quarter teaspoon, and you just drop this in over your limes. And the reason we're adding this is because we need calcium, and this is a neutral and transparent method of adding it. Now we're gonna add 30 milliliters of white rum, Bacardi in this case, and that's about one shot of that. And then the recipe calls for 60 milliliters of soda, but I'm gonna substitute that with 60 milliliters of Sprite, because it just gives a lot more flavor into your mojito and I just love the way it tastes inside a mojito. So, here we go, that's just two shot glasses worth of that. Now you just wanna mix this in until the calcium lactate and the sugar dissolve into the liquid. Once the solids are dissolved into the liquid, you wanna just sieve out the mint and the lime and just reserve this on the side. Now you take your silicon mold, which comes with the kit, and you just want to take some mint and just slap it again to release the essential oils and aromas. And then you just want to place one little mint leaf inside every single one of these holes. Now notice these mint leaves are much smaller than the ones I used before. And that's because these are from the top of the plant. And I chose those because I want a whole small little leaf inside every single little mojito sphere. Okay, once you've got them all filled up, then you just want to add your mojito mix and you just want to fill up each semicircle up to the brim full of mojito mix. And once you've done that, you just want to take a spoon and make sure those leaves are fully submerged because if you have a leaf or part of the leaf sticking out of the liquid when it's done, it will not jellify correctly and you'll get a broken sphere. So just take your time and make sure they're all under the liquid. Once you've done that, you want to carefully move this tray into a freezer so that they can freeze solid. Now we can begin preparing our sodium alginate bath. Now for this you're going to need water but not mineral water because mineral water has too much calcium inside it and that makes it react with the sodium alginate. So you want to take tap water or distilled water, something without calcium. And then you want to add sodium alginate sachet, which comes with a kit. It has two grams inside, and you're going to add that to half a liter of water, or to be more exact, 480 milliliters. And then you just want to blend this with a hand blender. Now, a whisk will not do. You have to really shear the hydrocolloids into the liquid. And by hydrocolloids, I mean the sodium alginate. Okay, so just blend it thoroughly, and then you're going to want to leave it to rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now it should be a complete liquid. You shouldn't have lumps in it. If you have lumps, there's probably too much calcium inside your water. So just leave it to rest and let the bubbles dissipate. Just take about 15, 20 minutes. And then it'll be a clear liquid just like this. You can just pour it out. It looks pretty much like water. It's just got a little bit of your white hue to it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add another bowl with water. This is just normal water out of the tap. This is just to rinse off. Okay, so now you take your mojito spheres out of the freezer and they're frozen solid now and you just drop it into the sodium alginate bath 
and you're gonna leave them in there for three minutes. Now, when they're in there, make sure they don't float to the surface because otherwise they won't gel on the top part. Just press them down and also make sure they don't stick together because then they'll gel together. Okay, so here we go. After three minutes, it looks like a beautiful sphere and then you wanna rinse it off inside the water bath. Just shake it around. Don't keep it inside the water bath though because it is a membrane and it will allow water into it and diluting your mojito mix. Alright, so then this is just to let you see what it is. It's a beautiful sphere with a liquid core. It's just like a fish roe, but just bigger. And fill the mojito. Look at that, it blows up. Just great. It's got a very thin gelatine membrane which doesn't taste like much, and the leaf is still in there, and it's just awesome. Okay, now to take it a step further, I'm going to take my mojito spheres and I'm just going to drop them into a siphon. Now this is something that isn't inside the recipe with the kit, but I'm adding myself. Right, so just take the spheres and add them into the siphon. The reason for doing this is because when you freeze the liquid with the Sprite, all the gas bubbles leave and you just don't get that fizz. And I find like that fizz is part of the mojito, so without it, you're missing something. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mojito mix inside, just some Sprite and Bacardi, just to allow the gas to go into the liquid and then into the sphere, and so that the spheres don't pop or break while they're in there too. Okay, now you just wanna add one CO2 canister, and this will add the fizzy bubbles in <laughs> And then you just want to put it into the fridge for about 30 minutes just to let the gas diffuse into the liquid and then into the sphere. All right, so it's been in the fridge for about 30 minutes, just letting the carbon dioxide diffuse into the liquid. And now I'm going to let out the gas, but very, very slowly so the spheres don't explode. This may take a while. You really don't want to rush this part. Just go nice and slow. I really love these uh, siphons from Issy because they have amazing thorough control and it allows you to go really nice and slowly and have the control you want with the food and especially when you have delicate things, you don't want to break them. Okay, so there we go. Now we just let the gas out. I'm just gonna open it up. And now I'm gonna just drop these out. All right, so look at that. It's the exact same sphere, but just nice little bubbles inside, and it's fizzy. Just great. All right, just gonna give one a try. That's awesome. It's just the same mojito sphere, but now with gas inside, and just makes it a little bit more interesting, and a little bit more authentic like a mojito, because a mojito does have gas inside. All right, so there we go, that's it. So this is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys give this a go at home. If you want to do that and you want to get the kit for yourself, then click either on the top left corner screen or on the top right or in the description below to get a link to my website so you can figure out where to get this. Now, uh, you can use this in so many different ways too. I mean, uh, just let your imagination run away with you. I mean, you can use this to make any kind of verification and any kind of drink into a sphere. It doesn't have to be a mojito specifically. You can just go crazy and do whatever you want really. It's the only limitation is your imagination. So give it a go, do something insane, and who knows, something very great might come out of it. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. See you guys next week, bye.